Astrono. Bem-vindo ao nosso programa Aprender a Estudar em Casa. My name is Romira Almeida and I am your teacher. Yes, for fifth grade. So, antes de começar, como sempre, I want you to be safe. I want you to be healthy. So, wear your mask and always wash your hand. So now it's English time. Are you ready? So, our class for today, yes, one more time, mais uma vez, something that I love, algo que eu adoro. Yes, we're going to learn a little bit about days of the week and months of the year. Sim, exatamente. Os dias da semana e os meses do ano em English. So, first, primeiro, vamos começar do mais simples, easy peasy. Let's start with days of the week. Are you ready to learn the days of the week in English? Yes? So, come with me. Então, para os days of the week, listen, days of the week. Yes, we have seven. Yes, we have seven days in a week. First one, Monday. Mm -hmm. Monday. Can you listen? Monday. Very good. E a seguir temos Tuesday. Tuesday. Good. Next we have Wednesday. Wednesday. Yes. And then we have my favorite, Thursday. Can you repeat? Thursday. Yes. And next we have Friday. Friday. Good job, you guys. Saturday. Saturday. And we have Sunday. Yes, Sunday. I like Sunday. Why? I sleep all day on Sunday. So can you repeat it again? Let's go. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. There are seven days in a week. Começamos por Monday, que é Segunda, very good. E terminamos no Sunday, que é que dia? Domingo. Very good, you guys. So, Sunday, I sleep all day. And Sunday is my favorite day of the week. So, can you just do it again? One more time. Só mais uma vez. Yes? Let's go. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and very good, Sunday. That was amazing. And like always, teacher Romira não gosta de ficar parada. No, 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 no. I want you to listen. I want you to pay attention. And I want you to sing out loud. O mais alto que conseguires. Yes, let's sing all the days of the week. Can you do it? I know you can, so let's sing! Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. 
did you like the song? I know you did. I love this song. Days of the week, days of the week. Come on, everybody, sing the days of the week. Monday, Monday. Tuesday, Tuesday. Wednesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Thursday. Very good. That was awesome. So remember, there are seven days in a week. And there are four week, four weeks in a month. Teacher, month. What is month? Oh, don't you worry. Month é o que chamamos aí de mês em português. So agora vamos aprender. Yes, month of the year. Yes, os meses do ano. Do you know how many months we have in a year? Yes, we have 12 months. 10 and 2. 12 months in a year. Do you know the name in English? No? It's okay, Silvino. I'll teach you. Yes? So let's go. O nosso mês número 1 is January. Yes, January. O nosso number 2 is February. February. Good job, you guys. Number 3. March. March. Number 4. April. April. Number 5. May. May. Number 6. June. June. Number 7. July. July. Number eight, August, August. Number nine, September, September. Number 10, October, October. Number 11, November, November. And December, very good, you guys. So, do you know what is my favorite month? No? I'll tell you. My favorite month of the year is March. Yes, that's my favorite month of the year. Why? Why, teacher? I'll tell you. Because my birthday is in March. Yes, birthday. Remember the song? Happy birthday to you. Yes, aniversário. Very good, you guys. So, my birthday, it's in March. Hmm. Como é que eu vou perguntar o aniversário do meu melhor amigo? It's okay, I'll teach you. Eu vou te ensinar como perguntar isso. Are you ready? So, let's learn. Para perguntar o aniversário, de alguém, you just have to say, listen, when is your birthday? When is your birthday? Perguntem para a teacher aí. Ask. Let's go, Silvino. Very good, Silvino. When is your birthday? Good job. So, my birthday is in March. Yes, my birthday is in March. Então nós dizemos aí, e é só trocar o teu mês. Se for December, tu dizes, my birthday is in December. Se for August, you say, my birthday is in August. Very good. Yes, so you can, também pode dizer, you can also say, my birthday is on 31 of March, this is o dia. Tu já sabes os números from 0 to 100, ok? So remember, when is your birthday? My birthday is in March. Ou então, my birthday is on 31 of March. Very good, you guys. That was amazing. And you guys were Fantastic! Why? Because you are so smart. E agora, antes de começar, não, 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 vamos fazer um pequeno exercício. Pode ser? 
Eu quero que vocês coloquem a vossa little brain, o nosso cérebro, para trabalhar a little bit. Can you do it? I know you can, so let's work! Então, para o exercício, o que é que tu vais fazer? Something easy peasy as usual. Simples como sempre. Ok, so, vais ver as imagens, temos aí os nossos amiguinhos. Ok? Temos Monday e temos aí uma menina play basketball. Depois temos um rapaz e aí embaixo está escrito Friday e ele está play football. Depois temos um outro, está escrito Tuesday, onde ele está play the violin. E a seguir temos algo muito fofo, um netinho com a sua avózinha e aí embaixo está escrito Sunday. Ok? Depois temos aí Wednesday e temos o, um rapaz a swim. Yes! E o que é que tu vais fazer? Então vais completar os espaços em branco, tendo em conta os dias da semana e a atividade que está a ser escrita aí na frase, ok? For number one. On space. Pedro plays football. Onde é que está o Pedro e onde é que está ele a play football? Vais procurar e ver que dia da semana é que Pedro plays football. E faz o resto com o exercício número 2, o 3, o 4 e o 5. So, can you do it? I know you can. Vais ter uns minutinhos aí. So, let's go and remember, it's time to learn English. Let's go! Did you do it? It was easy, I know. Teacher, that same exercise is simple. No, it's not easy. You guys are super smart. So let's do the correction together. So let's go. Exercise number one. On Pedro plays football. Mm -hmm. Yes, on Friday. Very good. On Friday, Pedro plays football. Very good. Number two, on Carlos plays the violin. Very good. On Tuesday, on Tuesday, Carlos plays the violin. Good job, you guys. Number three, on Anita plays basketball. On Monday, Anita plays basketball. Nice. And number four, on Jason visits his grandmother. Yes, on Sunday, Jason visits his grandmother. What about number five? On Paulo swims. Mm. On Wednesday, Paulo swims. Very good, you guys. That was amazing. So, Exercício number one, it's done. But it's not finished. Ainda não acabamos. We have exercise number two. Yes, can you do it? So, vamos ver qual é que vai ser o exercício number two? Let's go. Para o exercício número dois, agora vamos usar o quê? Months of the year. Yes, January, February, March, May, April. Yes, months of the year. Então, aqui... Temos uns desenhos lindos que representam datas especiais. Yes, special dates. For example, 
Number one, temos uma menina segurando um coraçãozinho. That's Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. So Valentine's Day is in what month? Tu vais escrever. Number two, Teacher's Day. Yes, Teacher's Day. Yes, my day. I have a special day. Yes, Teacher's Day is in. Yes, you put the month. Number three, Christmas. Christmas is in. Number four, Children's Day is in. Yes, Children's Day. O vosso dia, your special day. O dia das crianças. Yes, so Children's Day is in space. And number five, Independence Day is in, yes, the independence of our country, Cabo Verde. When? You need to do it. So, mais uma vez, vamos ter uns minutinhos. And let's put our thinking hat. E vamos trabalhar because you, yes, are super smart. Let's go. difficult? No, 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 no. It was super, hyper easy. Yes. So let's do the corrections. Mm. Number one, Valentine's Day, the day of friendship, friendship day. Remember, Valentine's é para os amigos também. Valentine's Day is in February. Yes, Valentine's Day is in February. Good dia? Yes, 14. Very good, you guys. Number two, Teacher's Day, o dia de todos os teachers, is in April. Yes, Teacher's Day is in April. Number three, that's easy. Ninguém errou. Marco, fizeste errado, Marco. Mm, I hope you didn't. So, Christmas is in, of course, December. Yes, Christmas is in December. Number four, Children's Day is in, yes, June. Children's Day is in June. What about the independence of our country, Cabo Verde? Yes, Independence Day. Okay, Independence Day is in July. Yes, the independence of our country, Cabo Verde. Very good, you guys. This exercise was easy peasy and you guys did a good, amazing, fantastic job. So, for homework today, o trabalhinho de casa, it's always good. You go to your book on page 29 and page 30. Yes. So, temos um pequeno texto... It's all about Bia. Remember my friend Bia? So you will read the text. My weekly activities. Hello, I am Bia. My week is fun. I go to school from Monday to Friday. My favorite day of the week is Monday. On Tuesday, I play basketball with my friends. On Wednesday, I clean my house. On Thursday, I listen to music. 
On Friday, I read a book. On Saturday, I visit my grandmother and my grandfather. On Sunday, I go to the beach. So you guys, vão ler esse texto again, and then you will do something very easy that's on page 30. Está na página 30 do vosso livro. Que é exatamente o quê? So, you're going to match the days of the week and the activities on the text. Yes. Vais ver as atividades e então vais colocar days of the week. Em que a Bia pratica esses exercícios. E já estão referidos no texto que a teacher acabou de ler. Can you do it? I know you can. And remember, if you have a doubt, uma dúvida, if you have a question, you can always call your teacher, call me, ask your mother, ask your father. So just do the exercise because English it's easy and English it's mm -hmm, fun. Today we learn about the days of the week and the months. Remember, days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, my favorite, Sunday. And we also learned about months of the year, like January, February, March. Yes, my favorite month of the year, March, because it's my birthday, remember. When is your birthday? My birthday is in March. That was amazing. Thank you, you guys. That was very good. E assim chegamos ao fim de mais uma aula do programa Aprender e Estudar em Casa. Remember, stay home, be kind, and please study English, okay? Bye-bye.